dodging this fundamental question. A dinner lady who used to retire at 60 on a pension of around £4,000 a year has been told she'll have to work till she's 68 ladling out those potatoes to the children in the school. She'll have to pay more from her poverty pay, which is, by the way, less than 17000 a year, in order to have a pension at all. And when she gets her pension at 68, it'll be less than the pension that she'd have got if she retired last year. Now, I'm asking you again, how will that benefit you? It won't benefit me. Well, why are you arguing for it, then? Because, uh, who's, who's fighting for me, George? Well, if there's nobody fighting for you, it's about time you joined a trade union. You're being grossly exploited by the hotel you're managing. Now, more fool you if you're prepared to do that, but don't ask dinner ladies to pay for the fact that your employer is treating you like a slave. That's all I'm saying.